was upon a time, I know things never what they seem in. This life's a time, it's like a trip, I reminisce of the stress and I've been up. Civic Type R. If you didn't, if you haven't seen the video on this car, I done a video on it about a year ago, uh, which was the first time that I bought it. It's basically a full Type R replica. It's an FK2. Uh, started out life as a 1.8 Honda Civic. It was in a pretty bad accident. Uh, I think it's a Cat S car. And whoever repaired it at the time decided they wanted to bring it back to life as a Type R. So it's got the engine, the gearbox, the dash, everything, the ECU, and. And it's an amazing car, it's bloody brilliant. 300 brake horsepower, two litre turbo, and it's Japanese, so it's super reliable. Front wheel drive, it's just a great thing to drive. I've been daily driving this since obviously the RS6 broke. I've got an update on the RS6 as well, by the way. Uh, that should be coming up in the next couple of videos. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd brief mention, get a brief mention about this type bar on the channel. Now I'm just putting it up at uh, the Shell Garage, bloody Shell, they get loads of money out of me. I'm gonna jump in here, get some fuel, and then we'll head to Binker and pick up the Golf R, alright? See you in a bit. Bloody neglected, doesn't it? Just sat there, looks dirty. Oh, could do a little bit of a clean, can it? Dead battery inside, looks still just left as it was the last time I drove it. So what we'll do, we'll get a uh, get the drum back on it and get it fired up. On it, on it. On it. Look at that. Turbo Technics stuff going on. Big Turbo Technics turbo, look. Uh, but battery, this is what needs replacing because yeah, it's just, um, we've charged it, like what we've done to the little DS3 there, that's on charge currently. That will hold its charge, but we've charged the Golf R, and it's just, yeah, the battery's just had it. So, um, definitely the new battery. This car, it just smells fresh, and obviously you can't smell it, because you can't do no smellograms or nothing, but yeah, smash, look at that, it smells fresh. 19,590 miles, not even 20,000 miles yet. Let's have a little listen. Oh, jump pack's dead. Come on. Oh, that's it. Got a few lights on the dash. That's because of the low battery situation. It'll go off, don't you worry about that. That's it, all the lights gone off now. As a result, let's fold them mirrors out as well. Are they gonna work? They do work as well, look. Amazing, it? Amazing. And hit the road, hit the road. Yeah, this car's got like a smell to it. It's really, it's, it's, it's a mixture of um, petrol, does stink of petrol, uh, meth, car cologne, and Calvin's car diary refreshment, which I just took out the window because I didn't want it swinging around in your face all the time, so I took that out as well. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, uh, but it's a nice smell. It's a, it's a memorable smell, I'll tell you that. And everyone that gets in this car says, it smells nice in here, doesn't it? Um, and if you like the smell of petrol as well, it just adds to the excitement of the aura of this car. So obviously, like, I say it's been a long time since I drove it. I've done draggy times in it recently. If you didn't see that draggy race video between this and my Audi R6, you've got to go and check it out because um, it is so impressive the times that this thing achieves, uh, which is imaginable really because, uh, because 
it don't weigh a lot and it's currently running at 560 bhp which it has run at higher peak horsepower but it's not run as well as it does right now throughout the whole rev range so we went we went back to um vrs this was months ago and i had it retuned so it doesn't quite hit the same peak numbers i think it used to be 585 on on uh, pump fuel and then obviously over 600 on race fuel and now it's 560 on pump fuel and i've not done a race fuel map because i i don't really i've never really cared about running it on race fuel to be honest so um so yeah now it's it just delivers power better than it's ever done it before and uh it's just a serious car loads of power not a lot of weight it's four wheel drive it's got a dsg gearbox it's super reliable i mentioned just now when we was under the bonnet about the, the uh, oil cooling system that it's got now and you constantly um we won't talk about that just yet before it didn't have that so when i've had this car uh obviously over a year ago now he blew the engine up so it's got a new engine in it and the reason why the engine blew up is because they put uh they run it on race fuel and they run it at v max which is a long distance and uh, it's, it puts any engine under a lot of pressure. You're basically flooring it for, I think it's about half a mile, maybe longer than that, I don't, I don't know exactly, but I've never actually been to VMAX, I need to do that. But um, yeah, you, you, it's flat out for a long period of time, engine gets to a high temperature, they were running it on race fuel, and it just gave way. It's uh, quite a simple and easy thing to do if, uh, you know, high temperatures engines it don't go together too well so it then went to VRS it had a new engine put in it and it had all this oil cooling stuff done as well so it's got now an oil cooler it's got a bigger sump so it carries more oil I know a lot of you know all about this anyway and it runs at a lot less temperature so now we're running at 60 degrees and obviously the engine's been ticking over for a bit it just takes a lot longer to warm up than, than most cars I've had obviously stock gold cars and they just warm up to over 80 degrees in no time whereas this car it's ages to get warm uh, but on the plus side it does keep it really cool uh, for when you want to drive it hard so uh, we've got the obviously the mesh system which keeps it cool as well and um, I'm constantly despite all of this being in place every time I drive this car I do I've got it in my head all the time to keep an eye on that oil temperature so I've always got it on the dash to make sure it doesn't get overheated because I wouldn't want to do it any harm again so um, so yeah, it's a serious car. So right now, I'm going to... Do you know what? Let me just quickly say something. This is episode 104 of, of Diary of a Car Trail. I'm going to change it to Calvin's Car Diary. And I had a big plan for episode 100. It was a very big plan. And I've still got that plan, but it's kind of been put off for... for uh, stuff been going on um, not bad stuff good stuff it's all everything's heading in the right direction um, and then I thought I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it on episode 104 because episode 104 in my opinion is more exciting than episode 100 because 104 is 52 weeks that's so 52 yeah 52 weeks at so two videos a week it's 104 episodes and that today at this very point in time this is exactly one year so, since i've been doing this whole like doing it properly anyway the calvin's car diary thing so this is um it's a big day for me so i'm out in the golf bar i'm heading to um to albert and night race night race so the reason why i'm going to albert by the way he's obviously a gtr specialist if you don't know who albert is he's a proper sound guy based in bletchley in milton Keynes, just up the road from us in binka and um, he's got an MOT garage as well. And they do a bit of work for us every now and then. They do bits for us, like for our normal cars. And he's just a decent guy. So I'm gonna go see Albert. You know, I never actually drive up here because he collects all of my cars. And I'm sure you can access the estate from going by going down here. This car gonna let me through. Oh no, you're not, are you, mate? You're not. Don't worry, mate. I'll get out of your way. There we go. Yeah, so for it needs a battery, it's a good excuse to get a video on it. Something else I obviously want to mention is this car is currently available to win in a competition on my website, planetofdreams.co.uk. If you haven't bought yourself a ticket for it, uh, there is, I don't know if by the time this video goes live, there'll be any left, but it's a serious car and someone is going to win this car for £25. So if uh, winning this car is something that gets you excited, then pull your finger out get over to the website and buy yourself a ticket so last time I actually came here was um, when I got my GTR tune that was a long time ago three years ago so what I'll do is I'll go find Albert and um, we'll get the battery done on the Golf R
So let's go see Albert. There he is, look. There he is, the star of the show. Hey, how Albert, you right, yeah? Yeah. Um, right. Dead battery. Oh, you're filming me? Okay, yeah, cool. filming. You're on camera, mate. You're on camera. <laughs> All right. You love a bit of YouTube. Do you want to drive it into the workshop at the end? Is it around that way, yeah? Go around, go right to the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right to the end, yeah. I know. I'll meet you in there. All right, seems then. I didn't know you had this unit on the end as oh, well. No, no, all five, all five. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just five, yeah. Just, just five units, Albert. Yeah. Oh, there's a small one there. Just small units. <laughs> small units. That's it, Albert. Yeah. 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 So Albert, hey. Albert. Hey. Hey. Albert. <laughs> last time we done a video. Last time we done a video together, you um, you got turned famous for nicking my It moves. was the white GTR <laughs> uh, conversion, and then you uh, sneaked. Sneakly <laughs> videoed me licking my mints. <laughs> licking, <it>. licking my <laughs> mints. Yeah. Find him up one of your mints. Find him up one of your mints. People call me up and say, oh yeah, I've seen you on YouTube, uh, you're the one that mixed the mints. So I go, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see you, I think about the mints. So what are you doing now? So you've got, you've got the MOT garage. Yeah, got... yeah, yeah, the MOT. We've had this for a little while now. So this is where this is the MOT bay. Yeah. The MOT's here. Um, you've come in for uh, battery change. So you do this sort of stuff as well? Quite yeah, often yeah, we do general cars, general cars, general see. servicing. We sell loads of tyres, you know, aircon, regas, uh, remaps. You know, uh, general clutches, you know, um, transmission, we do all of that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still mainly do GTRs? GTRs we still the main do, thing. Yep, yeah, 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 mainly for me, the GTI is the, the main thing. Mainly, mainly, GT, mainly GTI. GTRs. We started off doing all the R33s, R32s, the Supras, that's what we started off doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's our background, JDM. Mm. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, 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 that's it. Cool, so battery day for the Gold Fire, yeah? Now once upon a time, I know things never what they seem in. This life of time is like a trip. I reminisce, I've been stressing, I've been up, I've been down, run the town, so profound. Verbs and nouns, I take the pen and can't at all describe it. But then I to describe it, release the pen, provide it. My mama told me life is what you make it. Listen, it's that coffee in the morning, it's that get your mind together, it's that pushing through the weather, it's that we gon' live forever. Bigger the flow, never the job done. New battery sorted. Do you know, more than anything today, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to film a video because I finally got my camera back. Like the LCD display broke. For those that watch me, watch me regularly, would have already known about that. And yeah, I finally got it fixed. I had to send it away to Panasonic. It took weeks to come back, but I was just excited about using my old but new camera, and such. But yeah, got a new battery now, and it was a bit of a pain to do, I think, for him because it's because it's got auto stop start. It kind of changes the. It's not quite as simple as just sticking it on and starting the engine but now it <laughs> starts on the button I didn't want to jinx myself starts on the button and that's it the car is absolutely 100% again <laughs> because it's so light and it's just such an easy thing to drive this it just feels like I've done the draggy times on it and it's very comparable to my RF6 but it just feels so bloody quick and when I drove this car like a couple of weeks ago to do them draggy times <laughs> I, I got in it and I was genuinely shocked about how quick it is it just delivers the power so well and although it weren't quite as quick as the RS6, which shocked me, um, it does feel, it gives you the perception that it is a faster car than the RS6. And the idea of, like when Arthur done this car originally, is he wanted to retain that original look. So he didn't want to take away the innocence of it being, a, 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 well I say innocence, it was, it's still a normal looking Golf R, it's a three door Lapis Blue with Cadiz wheels, it's quite a subtle looking thing, it's got a DSG gearbox as well which is obviously great for the, from the tuning point of view, but it just looks like a Golf R and I, again repeating myself a lot here but the only giveaway sign that it's had anything done to it is the Miltech pipes at the back and 
Obviously when you start it up, it sounds a lot louder, a bit more leery than your average Golf R, but visually it just looks like a normal Golf R and it's given times that are keep, keeping up, like draggy times that are keeping up with things like my RX6, which is 700 bhp. So, serious car. Ah, oh, the auto windows need to be reprogrammed, but yeah, it's just, I suppose for me today, like I say, it's just more of a vlog. I just want to get out and get the car on my channel. Um, obviously, this is a hot subject at the minute, and I'm doing the, the competition on it. Good, good opportunity to get Albert on the channel as well. I'm, I'm friendly with Albert. I see him quite often. He obviously, his, his business is just up the road from mine, so um, he's a good guy. And it's just a good chance to get out, see him, get him on the channel, and uh, get the battery done on this car, <laughs> you guys are looking at it. So there's a horse there, that's a bit awkward. I don't like seeing horses when I'm in noisy cars like this. They're right, they're fine. Woman walking a dog there. Upshift, upshift, peaceful, peaceful. Just looking at me thinking, you bloody old boy racer. I think I've achieved what I wanted to achieve today. I am. Um, <laughs> I went to a Piri chicken shop, got some proper hot Piri chicken, uh, so I had lunch. I've got a battery done on the Golf R, I've got something filmed on it, I've got to get some news out of my camera, and um, I uh, spent some time looking at GTRs, which got me thinking. I think I'm done. I'm going to uh, yeah end this video. If there's anything you want to see on this car, like there is, I know I've came the arse out of content on it, but whilst I've still got it, if there is anything you actually want to see on this car, I've done draggy times, I've done long journeys in it, I've, oh, there, there ain't really nothing else I can do with it, but if there is anything by some amazing miracle that you feel like I've missed, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get more stuff filmed on it, all right? Um, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll also put a link to Night Racer in the description below if you've got a GTR and you live in the region or anywhere near Milton Keynes. Uh, he's a guy that I recommend. He's a decent guy, all right? So I'll put a link for him in the description below as well, all right? Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Obviously, if you did like the video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Got loads of car related stuff coming. I upload a video every single Wednesday and Sunday at six o'clock and I've been doing it for exactly one year now, all right? So it's a channel worth subscribing to. And I just have fun in all types of cars as often as I can, all right? And I've now got a good camera to film it on. I'll see ya in my next video, all right? Bye. In the next episode of Calvin's Car Diary, there's a car that I've always wanted to buy as a bit of a project and I finally bought one. Find out what it is in my next video.